Hi everyone, this is Ty Williams. How everyone is doing today? I hope everyone have an amazing day today, like myself, because I had to respond the video I just did earlier about Kota Ibushi. Someone was low key being being passive aggressive with me about Kotobushi shouldn't win the G one climax. And this person is the same person complaining that Kotobushi never became the heavyweight champion in New Japan. Yes, that's true fast. Kotobushi never held the heavyweight championship in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And that's why I did this video about him. And this person got the nerves, the nerve to be passive aggressive with me and saying that, oh, I think that Kotobushi should not um, be main eventing against Tetsu Naiso because he already had his chance. Let me tell you something. That's why I don't like hypocrite people that say something and turn around doing something the opposite of what they say they said. Okay? She, I'm going to say she, she was bitching about, oh, Korobushi, he never won the heavyweight champion, and, and I think that he should uh, win the G1 because he never got to be um, double champion and he's an international champion already and I think it's about time that he become heavyweight champion but when he became G1 Climax winner people is singing a tune people is singing a tune people was like oh my god Congratulations. Like, they didn't want him to win. I don't know what's the deal about fans doesn't want Kotobushi to be heavyweight champion in New Japan. I don't get that. Y'all guys sit down, complain about he never be champion, and he needs to be champion. It's time that he become champion. But turn around, and y'all wrote on Twitter and sending me messages talking about I want Jay White to go to the main event and go face Tetsuya Naito. I'm like. Are you serious? Jay White was already heavyweight champion. I think that he is heavyweight champion, I think, twice. I'm not, I'm not mistaken. But Kotobushi never won the big one. And I think that's the reason why 
I would very cough or cough on guard and little upset when people that claim and they oh they all about Kota Bushi um fan and and they want the best of Kota Bushi. Some of them claiming they golden lovers. I'm like, what is going on here? Like, tell me what is going on? Why you people who claiming you are his fans, but turn around hoping that Jay White will take his contract and go face Tetsuo Naito. You see, that's why wrestling is a shithole. Because of y- y'all. Because y'all guys are being flippy floppers. Or being bipolar. You like something next minute. You don't like no- nothing at all the next minute. You cry. Then you stop crying. It's like... What is going on here? Like I say in the videos about Kotobushi, I said I was rooting for Kotobushi. And I was not a fake ass fan like some of you. I'm not. I was like the ride or die of Kotobushi. Let me tell you the reason why. I love Kota Bushi than any wrestler that I saw currently. Kota Bushi always strive for greatness, always approving himself, always being a lone wolf, and that's what I like about Kota Bushi. He's a lone, he's a lone wolf. He, he he is his own army. He is his own pack. He really doesn't need no one. Okay, and he has to face things on his own. And I think that's the reason why the G One climax thirty tell. A huge story about Kota Bushi of who he really is as a contender, as a wrestler. He doesn't chase fame. He's not gonna let people help him. He's not gonna let people cheat for him. He himself want to be his idol, the ace, Tadahashi. That was his dream. He want to be the next ace. Like he got all the criteria to be the next Tadahashi. And he finally gained confidence. He finally lift up his head and say, I am my own God of virtue. I will do anything in my power to be in the main event. I lose once, I lose twice, I lose a bunch of opportunities, but this time, he's like, I'm gonna be heavyweight champion, even if I fight to get what I want. And that's the reason why I came back and to watch New Japan Pro Wrestling. 
because of Kabushi, Kota Kabushi when the G1 climax. Do you know that I didn't watch the G1 climax? And even I didn't even watch New Japan since Kotobushi lost and Wrestling Kingdom 14, which is bullshit. Which is bullshit. Cause you know why? Everybody say it. He should been. He should, he should been. A winner last year or this year he should been and I think that's the reason why people know that Kotobushi is gonna be one of the greatest Japanese wrestlers at all time and that's why I say in my videos he is the hidden G O A T. And New Japan knows this. Why he signed a multiple contract with them. And guess what? If you so-called Kotobushi fans claiming you are his fans and know everything about him. Do you know that it takes years of him to sign a full contract with New Japan Pro Wrestling? Look it up. And for him to step up and say, you know what, I'm going to sign this contract because he was always loyal to New Japan Pro Wrestling. And he wanted to see great things in New Japan Pro Wrestling. He wanted to change the idea what wrestling's all about. And you guys focus on politics focus on oh i don't like him i don't like her i want her to win i want him to win it's all about join the ride when you watch these wrestlers rise and fall from grace even when kodobushi did a face off with Jay White. Jay White think that he got Kodobushi. You know, people hoping that Jay White, and that's the truth, some of you hoping Jay White will face new face. Tattoo Naito for the heavyweight champion. You know what I mean? But some of you guys don't pay attention to the details of the story. Jay Wright, Jay White, Jay Wright, Jay Wright or Jay White, Jay White, <laughs> sorry, Jay White. Got his true, maybe. When I say maybe, because he seemed very distant from the Bullet Club. Even Gitto sensed that. And one thing about Gitto, he will change on you in a minute. He will stab your back in a minute if you doesn't deserve him or give him something what he wants. And Jay White need to be careful and watch his back. Yes, Jay White is assessed to for that contract, but also 
he's at risk of being stepped away, of being kicked out of the Bullet Club. Because the Bullet Club is getting bigger. It's not getting smaller, it's getting bigger. And even the Bullet Club leaders never stayed that long. That's my theory on that. But, but back to Kotobushi, this dude busts his ass to be where he is today. He busts his ass. And people doesn't see the dedication, the hard work, what Kotobushi did. Even he sacrificed for Kenny Omega to be where he at today. And same thing as Shinsuke Nakamura, another one. Other people move on, bigger and better thing. And Kotobushi is like a egg that that never hatch but when i rewatch the g1 climate 30 i knew he broke the egg i knew he becoming who he say he is he is his own destiny and his own light to the future in wrestling. And I truly want Kotobushi get his moment in Wrestling Kingdom 15 to become champion. He always fell to become heavyweight champion, but never succeed. Okay? Never succeed. And if he becomes heavyweight champion in Wrestling Kingdom 15, you will see a birth of Kotobushi, the new Kotobushi, the warrior god, the wrestling god. And trust me, he is picking up new moves. He is stunning people. Like I noticed um, there was this one match Oh, what is that guy named with the crazy haircut? Like, I forgot his his name. Sasuke? Yeah, I think I'm going to call him Sasuke. Oh, yeah, I think, yeah, that's his name. Like Sasuke. And they beat the piss out of each other. And it was a good-ass match. And I understand why New Japan was like, this boy is gold. Kotobushi is gold. And you guys are sleeping on Kotobushi. How good he is. When he when he say in the interview, in a recent interview, he said that I don't focus on fame and money i focus on my abilities i focus on wrestling i'm passionate i'm passionate about wrestling he say that in the interviews and this is the reason why he's like he's one of my favorite wrestlers of all times because you got wrestlers like the bitch and complain be caught up with some drama on twitter and fighting with the fans and uh get so stressed out because fans saying rude things about them and they fight with the fans. 
Kota Bushi is like graceful, respectful. He wrote positive things. And the funny thing about it too, about Kota Bushi, what I like about him, not as a wrestler, but as a person, when he fails, right? He fails with grace. He fails with, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep on fighting. I'm going to keep on moving. I bro- I sprained my ankle. I got multiple concussions. I nearly break my neck to get to the top. And you guys coming at me or talking shit about Kotobushi on Twitter about yeah he deserved it but I, but I want Jay White to get get the contract are you serious Jay White is a is a star okay like Jay White I understand why people love Jay White because he is the star but to me I feel like Jay White is getting to base it you know what I mean he's he's losing his fire he losing his color and character on him being a Bullet Club member and being someone of who he is but he need that sense of power in his position and I think that's the reason why he is coming after Kota Ibushi because of a power struggle within the Bullet Club and even himself and I feel like it makes sense of Jay White to come after Kota Ibushi contract and I feel that these two would tear it up but I'm gonna be honest with you people like myself are not gonna watch Wrestling Kingdom if Kota Ibushi is not facing Tetsuya Naito for the heavyweight champion and and I'm cool with that because I did it before when Kota Ibushi lost to Okada I was like I stopped watching <laughs> New Japan Pro Wrestling until the news break that Kota, Kota Ibushi won the G1 30 climax and I was like oh yes I'm back on it because I want to be honest with you like will you rather watch Jay White versus Tetsuya Naito in a heavyweight match in Wrestling Kingdom 15 or Kota Bushi versus Tetsuya Naito for the heavyweight at Wrestling Kingdom 15. I picked Kota Bushi versus Tetsuya Naito at Wrestling Kingdom 15. Even my friends, oh my god, my friend was so happy when she heard the news. And also my other guy friends as well, like my friend who watched wrestling, they like, they like, uh uh-uh. uh, I'm gonna watch Wrestling Kingdom 15 for Kota Ibushi to get that heavyweight championship. And also, it's Tets- Tetsu Naito versus Kota Ibushi, man. That's a draw. That is a freaking 
draw. And that's that's the reason why wrestling is lo- is losing their sense of what people really want to see and what people is really engaged by. Like we never see a much of Kotobushi and Tetsu Naito feud or storyline archer of both of them who face each other for the heavyweight championship. And I found that very interesting. Like you see the new Tessie Naito, like he he's more um, very passionate of his members, of being a champion, and then evil turn on him that make him a bit vulnerable. And I could see the story of evil and Jay White and Tessa Naito. It's like everything is very unpredictable. And that's the reason why I love the storyline of Kotobushi involved with the drama between Tessu Naito, Jay White, Evil, and they all just like have an interesting um, divine path in Wrestling Kingdom 15. And so that being said, this is Ty Williams. Good day and goodbye.